love bugs is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for taking the time out, um, being able to see uh, things that we really need to heal on um, just to basically keep our frequency at a high level. You know, it's just we always have to take one day at a time. You know, nobody promised us the road will be easy, but you know, it'll definitely be definitely be worth it so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you're comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you toward the positive Positive direction also if you feel like the video just gives you life and you know good vibes and good information you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that need spiritual guidance or need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even soul purpose please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you once again for the love and support is greatly appreciated and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today my um my meditation i'm using in the background you know i love telling y'all about how i love the buddha meditations and the tibetan music it is gives me so much uh you know positive energy uh, it's called beautiful meditation music tibetan music stress relief music relaxing music meditation uh flower 3116c and i will post that link in the description box below and today uh, my video is about twin flame 101 hey of the special empaths that are hidden in plain sight so take your throne oh jesus i had one of my beautiful uh love bugs that made a comment yesterday and it had me uh basically channeled my higher self and answered her and i was just like woo the comment i left it you know it shook me i said you know what we have gone through life where we have been conditioned you know with uh hurtful words um things that can really make us seem small you know we we deal with people that we basically in, intimidate them uh with our light with our energy that we have a lot of times they they don't understand us the way they're supposed to you know anytime you're with someone who needs to make their self feel inferior towards somebody like that is always the weakest link as well you know because when people get power and get joy out of hurting people's feelings or just making them feel small or they're unimportant I you know I had to tell them you know if anybody tells you you're nothing is everything you know everything is something that is beautifully profound and molded into something that cannot be described and it's, it's true we are all that way you know a lot of people say we're nothing we'll never do anything we'll never make it to anything you know you can't place that on somebody's life because you don't know the future you know a lot of times they don't realize the stuff that they're placing in our lives is going to give us that jump to start to make a good future you know like I had to tell them you know if anybody ever tells you that just think about this you know if anybody says you're nothing that's good to be nothing because they when you're nothing you, you're everything you know you're not a specific thing you know they can't mold you and put you in a box with something if they're you're nothing you know that's a good thing to be you know they were like Rosa what do you mean you have to think about it nothing is everything everything can be you know mold it into what you decide it's going to be what you make it you know whatever positive impact in your life that you want to place on yourself so that's good not to be nothing you know they don't realize that they're giving you a compliment instead of they trying to sit up here and insult you. you you don't have to be able to see yourself as that you know a lot of times we have been conditioned to the point where you constantly hear that to where you mold yourself up to be something that they wanted you to be you know I had to go through my life where my life was altered you know um the people that I was around that you know called themselves my family molded me to be something you know beneath them um 
seeing that, you know, I, I've always wanted to push out love and positivity. They were afraid of what I would have grew up to be uh, like or I would have made myself to be. You know, um, they wanted my children to see me a certain way, you know, um, knowing that I'm going to be able to pass that power off to them as well. You know, you have to be able to see yourself like that. So being nothing is everything. You know, it's a beautifully profound thing to where it takes special people like us to be able to see that you're everything, which is nothing, which is everything beautiful that you decide to mold itself up to be you know and it's a beautiful thing you know right now we're going through our mission to be able to take our throne in our life cycle you know we're going to win regardless of what the hell somebody tries to place upon your life you have to be able to put your foot down it's like you know what yeah you're giving me compliments you don't know you're trying to you know anybody and it's hard to feel that way, you know, especially if you really trusted a person or you really saw them as a person that you had great feelings for, whether it could be a, a close friend, family member, or a significant other or a spouse. You know, a lot of people, when they see that, they don't see something in themselves. So they try to push that down on the people for them to be able to create their self as something very powerful, which is not. They're totally opposite of what that is, you know, because anytime you know, if you know you're on a mission to heal, and grow you nurture people you give them that positive you know impact in their life for them to be able to recognize things they don't recognize to themselves you know being able to see that you can mold your life to any any way you want to place it you know so you can impact your life being able to share that love and that up lifting vibration that you can pass within you know create within yourself to be able to pass off to other people and that's the things that they're scared of so of course they're gonna say oh you're nothing you'll never amount to anything you don't know what the hell is laying up behind you know all behind those tears that sadness because it gets to that point you're gonna get tired of being what they want to place you as that's going to be at that point like you know what I'm going to make my life how I want to make it. You know, I'm here for a purpose. I have a purpose because all through that anger and stuff like that, you're going to find different ways to motivate yourself, to elevate yourself into things that you never thought you knew how. You're going to find that power within yourself that they were scared you were going to recognize in the first place. That's why they had to knock you down, you know, because they see this, you know, when you, I, I've seen this post the other day. It was so beautiful. You see this little cat, this little kitten, and when it reflected, you see this big lion, you know, and that's how we are. We're that, that mirror image of something powerful that they're afraid that you might find out about yourself. So you need to go ahead and take your crown, you know, and make sure, you know, it's not shifted, it's all straight. And be able to know you got everything it takes plus some. So it's just don't allow somebody's negativity to take effect of your life anymore. This is at that time where you have to be able to see that power in yourself, that strength that's in yourself, um, that confidence that you have. You know, you wouldn't have made it this long if you didn't have that within yourself. You know, anytime you can open your mouth and tell people the trials and tribulations you have experience for so many years and you're still here you have a purpose you have a purpose it might hurt like hell because things have been impacted in your life in the worst kind of way but you needed to go through that to be able to see the things that you have inside yourself you weren't able to recognize before before you got here you knew you were all that and then some and something from the next year so you know you you had to be placed in a certain situation where it was like all chaos and all hell disarray everything you know, for you to be able to place that into your life and be able to wipe all that stuff out. They knew who they picked. God knew that, you know, he put you in a situation he knew that you would be able to get yourself out of. You just had to be able to see it within yourself. It took me a long time to be able to feel that. You know, I thought I was a person of weakness. You know, a lot of people took my kindness for weakness. And it's just like I had to be able to set boundaries up for myself. You know, I had to have that self-love, that self-respect, you know, learn each and every day I learn off of y'all as y'all learn off of me and that's a beautiful blessing because it's like when I talk to y'all whether it's openly or privately that's how a lot of times I get my content as well as things that I go through on a daily or it's just the universe wants me to shed light on because these are certain things that people are needing to hear you know you have those signs like you're asking universe what are those signs and then poof you know I make the videos it, it, it's just like y'all know how to you know just pull on those heartstrings just being able to know that I can just impact somebody's life like that you know it took me to go through so much hell and now I you know my life has a purpose I now I'm knowing my life has had a purpose 
purpose because when I started doing these videos I didn't know what the hell I was doing and sometimes I still don't I just go with the flow you know there's not every day there's going to be easy there's times I sit up here you know I have talks with my dad metaphysically even with my mom you know um that has passed on and letting them know you know I'm tired you know I press out you know so much love and light I give people the words of encouragement they truly need to hear you know I'm not saying something just because that's what you need to hear I'm gonna tell you what you need to hear you know I'm gonna be honest a lot of people don't like what I say but I'm keeping it real I, I don't have time you know bullshit makes me break out I ain't got time <laughs> you know what I'm saying fake real recognize real when fake walk in the room and that's how you have to be able to see yourself because a lot of people they're intimidated by you they're not going to tell they're intimidated by you but the way they treat you if they try to place you in a box or they're just waiting to see your downfall that's weak-minded ass people you know i'm just like you ain't got nothing better to do heal your heal yourself and you wouldn't have to be worried about trying to catch me at my downfall because if they're so busy trying to work on your life they ain't even working on theirs and they still got you know their own stuff to be healing from you know i can't stand people like that but i still pray for them anyway but allow yourself to come into your strength come into your power and your confidence that self-love you know the self-reliance you have all those things instilled in you we are manifesting stuff each and every day and our mind is the most powerful tool we possibly have as well as our hearts so allow yourself to be able to use that until you can't use it no more you know, um, it, it just hurts me when I know people have, you know, been placed in certain situations like that where, you know, it makes them question their life, make them question, why am I here? You know, it, it takes a long time for you to go through a lot of pain and suffering to understand what your purpose is. You know, with mine, you know, I never thought I would be able to heal the way I healed, not being able to see the things that I need to see. You know, there's times I ask questions about what's going on in my life. If I don't catch them through my visions, I catch them through just interacting with y'all. Um, being able to know I can have that platform to let people know these are the things that I went through, this is why I went through it, and this is what I'm gonna conquer. You know, I don't have time to be, you know, you know, worrying about the negative. You know, negative is gonna always be there, but we are not. You know, and it's just when you can have that time to put out for yourself. We can't worry about what others think of us you know, or who leaves us. Not everybody was meant to stay in your life anyway. You know, there's sometimes we have seasonal people and we place lifetime expectations on certain things like that. And, you know, you can't be disappointed if you're not expecting anything. You, you can't do that. Man will dis, you know, disappoint you every single time. So that's that time where you have to be able to rely on self. You know, you're not going to let yourself down, at least not on purpose. But you, you, have, to, you have to get out that you know that site because there's times I used to place myself in a victim role. I'd be damned if I'm playing victim towards anybody because I'm going to be a victor instead of a victim. You know that victor is like the things that overcome everything that was sent down here to break me. You know I, you know people tell me about the certain situations they're in. You know I try to give them that word of truth because there's you need people in your life that's going to be honest with you but also give you an uplift at the same time a lot of times we have been placed in certain situations where we're scared to actually step out that you know step out into the light you know you can't do that anymore you're at that role this is why universe placed you in certain situations you know to where we can't run nowhere i'm in a karmic situation right now whereas you know in a financial bind I'm doing what I need to do because I know I ain't trying to be in no situation like this too long. But I'm not doing it just to be playing games. I'm going to see what my lesson is trying to teach me. What do I have to learn out of this crazy situation that I'm in? But it's just like I'm learning to have self-love. I'm learning to be able to snatch my power back. I'm learning to be able to love myself beyond all measures where I never thought I could. You know, I felt like I wasn't loved by anybody. And the main people that did love me are no longer here you know, in this physical form. It's just like I got everybody that has my back through, through, you know, universe, spirit guides, loved ones that have passed. You know, I've had people down my line in my life has always told me I'm going to make a big impact some kind of way. They say you have this powerful energy about you. You're always outspoken. Even though, you know, people didn't care for you, you were always honest and didn't allow them to play that mess with you. And I said, that's, that's why I've always been. I've been very outspoken. <laughs> a lot of times my mom said I ain't had no coop because I was being a little bit too honest. But my actions has presented me and carried me up to a, a better platform. So allow yourself to be able to come into your power, being able to know 
that you are going to have that throne of victory. You are going to claim, you know, you're going to have your seat right there. God's about to place a, you know, a table in front of all your enemies. Trust and believe that. So, um, I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. Much love to you, H.C. Maxwell. I think that's your last name. I'm sorry. If H.C., you know who I'm talking about. Um, K.C., much love to you as well. And I will see you on my next video. Um, like I said, I have a group page that uh, I started back up. It's called uh, Hey Yoka Spiritual Journey. Like I said, I'm trying to get as many people as I can, you know, to participate, you know, sending funny memes, you know, if there are certain things that have occurred in your life that, you know, you're you're open to want to share. And it's just to see if anybody else is going through that or you want to share your talents that you do that, you know, that can bring you high frequencies and stuff like that. I want to be able to open that page up for people like I have here. I want to be able to have it there too, you know, where even if you want to do a one on one with me, you can always look me up under my name on Facebook Messenger if you ever want to talk to me or anything like that. I'll try my best to help out as much as I can. So, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Have a blessed, safe, safe weekend. Be responsible for everything you do. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I pray so much for y'all that all the hard work that you are trying to aim towards, that your blessings blossom very soon. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace.